So previously we looked at means and variances to describe statistical properties of data sets. In this video, we'll discuss what happens to means and variances when we linear transform the data set. That means we shift it around or stretch it. So let's look at a data set D, uh, which is given by these blue dots over here. So we have a data set D, which is minus 1, 2, and 3. Now let's compute the mean value of this data set to start with. So the expected value of D is minus 1 plus 2 plus 3 divided by 3, which is 4 over 3. So I'm indicating the mean value of this data set by this blue star. So now the question is, what happens to this data set when we shift it? So let's have a look at a shift by 2 to the right. So we end up with these red dots now. What happens to the mean value of this data set if we shift the data set, the original data set, to the right? Well, the answer is the mean also shifts by 2. So let's define d prime to be the data set 1 plus, sorry, 1, 4, and 5, which is d plus 2 for every individual component in d. Then the expected value of d prime is 1 plus 4 plus 5 divided by 3 which is 10 over 3. And in particular, we can write this in a slightly different way. We can write this as 4 over 3, which comes from here. Plus 2, which is the shift or the offset of the original data set. So we can generalize this now to general shifts. We can write an expected value of d plus a, where a is a constant uh, factor, is a plus the expected value of d. So up to this point, we know what happens to the mean of the data set when we shift the data set. But what happens if we stretch the data set? Let's say we also stretch by a factor 2. And that means we multiply every individual component in the data set D by 2. So then we end up with this data set on the, uh, indicated by the red dots here. And we define D double prime to be minus 2, 4, and 6. And if we now compute the mean of D double prime, then we end up with minus 2 plus 4 plus 6 divided by 3, which is 8 over 3. And we can rewrite that again in a convenient way, which is 4 over 3, which again comes from here, plus, uh, sorry, times 2, which is the scaling factor. So in general, we can write that the expected value of alpha times d is alpha times the expected value of d. Putting everything together, we can shift and scale our original data set, and the new mean of this linear transformation is given as follows. So if we compute the expected value of alpha times d plus a will get alpha times the expected value of d plus a, where alpha is the scaling factor and a is the shift. In this video, we looked at the effect of linear transformations on the mean value of a data set. In the next video, we will look at exactly the same for the variances.